give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known among the nations what he has done, sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of all his wonderful acts, glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice, look to the Lord in his strength, seek his face always. Heavenly Father, as we put on the helmet of salvation, we ask that you guard our mind today. Our thought life is where the bloodiest battles are fought. For the mind of sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. Our one way to victory is for our Lord Jesus to be our utmost thought. Help us to remember that you, Lord Jesus, are our Savior, Redeemer, Deliverer, and Lord. Help us to look to you and not be troubled or to have doubts rise in our minds. You have delivered us from the bondage of sin. We no longer are held captive by flesh and sin. Help us to set our mind on things above and not on earthly things. We have all the power to choose the thoughts that we will think. We decide every moment of every day what we will dwell on and think of. No one monitors or governs our thinking but us. May we not conform to the patterns of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind, so that we will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. The enemy may fling his evil arrows of doubt and despair. He may accuse us and remind us of past failures, but they are only paper bullets to the brain. They have no power over us, because we have been washed in the blood of Jesus, and delivered from all guilt and shame. Help us today to protect our thought life so that we will be delivered from all doubt, deception, and lies. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. We have the mind of Christ. Help us feed on your word. Your word is truth. Open our minds so we can understand the scriptures. Remind us throughout the day the promises of your word and all that you have done for us so we can walk victoriously and expectantly and not be paralyzed by fear. For you will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Lord Jesus, we praise you for rescuing us and delivering us from evil. Bring to our mind today those people who are on your heart, who we can pray for and encourage, who may not have their helmet of salvation on and are caught in the battle of their lives. Use us to bring them your message of hope and salvation so they can be lifted out of their pit of despair and depression. Remove those painful pictures that plague their memories and that keep them in a place of hopelessness and darkness. Turn the light of your glory and grace on in their minds. Fill their thoughts with your tenderness and compassion. Give them a glimpse of your glory and help them to see the better world that you have prepared for us. Lord, rescue them as you have rescued us. Teach us to prepare our minds for action be self-controlled and to set our hope fully on the grace to be given when Jesus Christ is revealed. Build a mighty army that will not be swayed or moved out of the way by the relentless attacks of an enemy who accuses, criticizes, and points the blame night and day. Open our eyes that we may see the mighty army that is surrounding us, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. The end of all things is near. Help us to be clear-minded and self-controlled so that we can pray. Help us to stop passing judgment on one another, but instead to make up our minds to not put any stumbling block or obstacle in our brother or sister's way. Give us a unity of mind to carry out the word of the Lord. Help us to be one in heart and mind so that we, with great power, can continue to testify to the resurrection of the Lord. May your grace be upon us all. For no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what 
God has prepared for those who love him, but God has revealed it to us by his Spirit. Lord, we love you with all our heart, our soul, and our mind. Be glorified in every thought we entertain today. Lord Jesus, in your powerful and 